many questions in this exercise. Two champion swimmers start a two length race at the same time but from opposite ends of the pool. They swim at constant but different speeds. They first pass at the point 18.5 meters from the deep end. Having completed one length, each swimmer takes a rest at the edge of the pool for 45 seconds. After setting off on the return length, the swimmers pass for the second time just 10.5 meters from the, sec from the shallow length. What is the length of the pool? Okay. So, so that what the question is telling us, pool, swimming pool of length L, let me assume this is the shallow end and this is the deep end. Both start swimming, first time they meet, they meet 18.5 meters from the deep end. So if the length of the pool is L, this portion will be L minus 18.5 meters. Then once they reach the edge, the respective uh, or the opposite ends, both of them rest for 45 seconds. And then embark on the return journey and then they meet 10.5 meters from the shallow end. So effectively the person who started from the deep end, he reached the shallow end, rested for 45 seconds and turned back and met the other person, let's say 10.5 meters from the shallow end. Okay. So this is the place where they have met, let me assume. So the distance covered by him now is length of the pool plus 10.5. Similarly, the, similarly, the person who started from the shallow end would have covered the length of the pool and then rested for 45 seconds and then come back to meet the other person 10.5 meters from the uh, shallow end. So in this case, the person has covered this length, which is length of the pool and this length will be L minus 10.5. So he's covered the length of the pool plus the length of the pool minus 10.5 or twice of length minus 10.5 meters. So what we are left with is the, this data of 45 seconds. Now this data is an irrelevant piece of data. It has been given just to confuse you. It has got no value because both of them rested for 45 seconds after reaching the opposite end. So it does not really matter. We need to find the length of the pool. Now since the speeds are different and we know speed is proportional to the distance. So the faster person will cover greater distance in this, and the slower person will cover lesser amount of distance. Now if the person who started from the shallow end is A, the person who started from the shallow end is A and the person who started from the deep end is B, then we can say ratio of speed of A to speed of B should be equal to L minus 18.5 upon 18.5 which is nothing but the ratio of distance the time in which the person from the shallow end covered l minus 18.5 meters in the same time the other person from the deep end covered 18.5 meters so ratio of distance has to be ratio of speed but this should also hold to when i look at the second time of meeting so the distance covered by the person from the shallow end a for the second meeting is l plus L minus 10.5 or 2L minus 10.5. And the distance covered by the second person or the person from the deep end will be L plus 10.5. So ratio of speeds is equal to ratio of distance. Now this is a single equation, a single variable and we can use this to get to our answer. So when we cross multiply, we will get L minus 18.5 into L plus 10.5 is equal to 2L minus 10.5 into 18.5. Okay, So we just cross multiply. Now please remember the rule to be followed is simplify the equation, simplify the equation to the maximum possible level and then substitute the choices if required. But first simplify the equation. So on simplifying, we'll get L into L, L square plus 10.5 L, which is L into 10.5. Then we'll have minus 18.5 L. And then we'll have minus 18.5 into 10.5. So minus 18.5 into 
on the right hand side we will get 18.5 into 2 is 37L minus 18.5 into 10.5. So on both sides I can cancel out 18.5 into 10.5 and we are left with L square plus 10.5 minus 18.5 makes it minus 8.5 minus I am sorry minus 8 not 8.5 minus 8L this is equal to 37L which implies L square is equal to 45L just transpose this 8L to the other side or this implies L is equal to 45. So the correct answer is choice E. So please don't get bogged down by the equation as it is given to you just start simplifying. Once you are able to simplify most probably you will get an answer. If you get a difficult looking or if you would have got the quadratic equation which need to be solved further then you should have just started substituting the choices. So but the first thing you need to remember is make the equation make the equation and then simplify and once you simplify you may get the answer if you don't get the answer then substitute choices. Okay. So please remember this process this is extremely important for being able to get to the answers fast. Okay.